This is part two. Go ahead and click here for part one. It's so bloody long, it's great. Okay, let's look at another one. Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods is kind of a bit camp, but it's just Sweden and it's just really, really cool. It's I'm one of those sure how I felt you think about... it's going to be cliched shit. Yeah, that's the whole idea is that it is this really cliched... Teenagers teenage, in the woods. Yeah. Going in the name to of drink it, booze and have sex. In the woods, it's oh my so God, shit. And there's zombies. But... Ah! Well, you just wait till the bloody end of that movie. Yeah. And it's just so clever. It's insane. And, and Sigourney the, Weaver has a cameo, and I'm it's always so down. And the ending, the actual way that it ends, is just brilliant. It's and brilliant. it's another bleak one. Yeah. But it's so inventive. That's a really creative movie. I love it. And also creative movies that really had us going. And I think there's going to be more stealing from this. It's unfriended. That, that could have been so shit. But it was done well. It, it was, was done. Tight. It because uh, obviously the concept is brilliant, but it was obviously executed by somebody who knows how to use and does use social media, who understands Skype, who understands using computers like teenagers do. Because if that was executed by somebody who doesn't really get it, it could have been Windows really bad. 95. Yeah, the thing that worked was that they used the brand names, they used the actual interface of an iMac. If you were watching that film on a MacBook. It was believable. Fuck off, that must be It was believable and it would have been a mind fuck because it really did look like a computer screen. Yeah, it really did. And there's really a lot of did. movies where all of a sudden it'll be like, someone Skype me, Voodoo. HD, full video. You think that doesn't bloody and happen. And it's like superimposed. And oh, it's like, so this shit. Was very, very Believable. Clever, very Believable. Good. And the scariest bit was right at the beginning, I think it's the 20th Century Fox logo comes up. And then it's- That noise. It glitches. Did you guys think that was a pile of shit? Um, that was also blue mouse. It follows. It follows was good. That was that felt very very sophisticated because that was like that a was nightmare. Very artsy almost. It, it that, was. It that was, was slow like, paced and it really got under your skin. I think that was a metaphor for either losing maybe your virginity or it could have been a metaphor for STDs or HIV. Oh, that was, yeah, or that's so, a lot of something like reading that. to do. It was a lot about the taboo of having sex with multiple partners it was it was very, very it was kind of like dark. in the same vein of like cat the carry or like teeth where there's sort of like a sexual kind of thing there and it's it turns or like fatal attraction it's like a cautionary sort of that tale was a good ending as for well. like it teenagers had one of those endings that you kind of have to do a double take you kind of have to rewind it oh, to watch it because it's like it's very subtle. miserable and maybe even you'll realize afterwards oh wait a minute it's very good. Um, I, I think there's there's been so many exorcisty type movies to come out in the last 20 years. Um, I think The Last Exorcism is like the worst movie ever. Um, if there's a few others I as well. I have that and I've never watched it because you told me it was bad. Oh so. my god, it's the worst movie ever. ever. Um, there's a few in that vein, but I think one of them that's really smart, because it comes at it from a different angle, is The Exorcism of Emily Rose. Oh my god, I hate that. And Laura Linney film. is it's so scary. sick. She's so sick. But I'll tell you who did a good job was the mm. bird that played Emily Rose. She's called Jennifer Carpenter. She was in White Chicks. That says it all. <laughs> but her portrayal of a, a chick being possessed, I mean, that's probably I not that like thinking about this. Role. It's making me feel really uneasy. We like, are the no, ones who dwell stop. within. Stop oh, it. it's so good. It's like, I'm literally... Goosebumps, but that's right. all about a court case about some chick who was possessed and died, and it's all about the it's reverend. One of those ones where it like blends it with like real footage and stuff, and, and it's sort of based on a truish story as well. So that one's a real a real corker. And let's talk about Silent Hill. Visually, just eye candy. It's amazing. Video games are amazing. I've only played maybe a couple of them, but not for very long because they do genuinely scare me. And I'm not very good at playing games under pressure. Like I fuck it up, so. They do really skip, but the first film, I think because it is so accurate to the game franchise. It's very close, it's very... It's yes. brilliant. Loyal. It's a brilliant film. The effects are fantastic. The music, the music is so scary. It's really good. The music is so I think in good. terms of video game adaptations, that's got to be probably one of the best ones, because it's actually got a fairly interesting story. It's not just sort of shit, gratuitous titties and guns are and stuff. Are there three of the films? There's, I believe there's only two. But the which second one we won't even talk about because that was a pile of horse. Which was, I feel like there's three though, because there was one fairly recently, like last year. Or the year I think before. there's only been two. Oh, only two. Okay. Yeah. So the second one was bad. Absolutely the worst movie ever. I don't think there's a single video on our channel where we don't talk about the fourth kind, but I'm just going to quickly bring it up as I think everyone hated it. I really love it. I think I it was so don't smart. I like it. They, they were cheeky and said it was real, which obviously is a lie. 
because you we know, none of it was real. And people have gone and found it. But the idea of the season. owl, I think, is so creepy. I don't like to talk about the this. The music, and she hates it. I, it really, really scares me. I know it's a shit film, but it, it really, really scares me. such a vagina. Me. I don't um, like it. House of Wax. That's another one that scares me. I'm such a pussy. I think, okay, Paris Hilton was shit, but that's the, she plays Hilton the role of phenomenal. herself. That's what I mean. Like she, she did was a, perfect. I think she did a perfectly fine job she, for yeah, horror movie bins. Exactly. She played the character perfectly. I think the soundtrack to House of Wax is also amazing. The guy yeah, I just find that really creepy. was called John Ottman. I think he, yeah, he did like Halloween H2O as well. Jamie Lee Curtis, so good. Um, but I think House of Wax is such a good idea. Or obviously it's a remake, but it's, I think it's such a good idea. Um, Gothica? I don't really remember Gothica. Is it Halle Berry yes. has amnesia or something and she's has she, she wakes her husband up. No, no, or no. she's been told she's, she's a doctor of a she's a sort of mental patient doctor type and she wakes up in the place where she used to treat patients as yeah. a patient herself. And there's murder and stuff going on. And she's on. told that she murdered someone, isn't she? Yeah, and but she doesn't remember it. Yeah. I think it's her husband or her it, boyfriend. I think it was the husband in the end. And she doesn't remember it and she's trying to piece everything together and it's all very... Halle Berry is obviously just amazing though, Berry. so that's that's pretty good. Um, the others, quickly before we finish. This, I always these... forget this one. I feel like whenever we watch it I must be drunk because I vaguely remember it when you tell me about it and then I kind of forget it again. Nicole Kidman is in a house. Her kids can't, they don't want to go in the sunlight and there's this ghost everywhere and this little tiny fat Irish woman running around. Sometimes the world of the dead gets mixed up with the world of the living. Mr. Tuttle, your hair! I don't know what's happening. Okay, anyway, there's that one. The last one on the list, um, just before we go, um, is Ghost Ship, which has got Emily Browners in it. That scene with, with the wire. The wire. <laughs> and they're all cut in half. You. They try so and put their bodies back together. That's a good one. I like that one. I will really see. I love the whole story of Ghost Ship. I love Jul Juliana Margulies. Think she's hot shit. You hate Anna Paquin. Um, Anna Anna Paquin's not in the Ghost Ship. Is she? No, no. Oh, that's embarrassing for you. What role did she play? The boat? No, wasn't she a little girl in this? No, that was Emily Browning. Oh, it was Emily Browning. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I always remember that as being Anna Paquin. No, Anna Paquin's a pile of ass. Emily Browning, on the other hand, is a goddess. She's hot shit. Um, so, yes, that's that. There's one other film that I really like that, oh, that you didn't like. I can't remember the name of it. The one with the, with the fairies, the evil fairies. With the little girl in the mansion. Um, and I she starts to become know. friends with the fairies and no one else can see them. It's called... And um, then they turn on her. And it's got a really she tries shit name. to say to everyone that there's these little creatures. Don't they like take her teeth or something? They take her teeth. It's called something along the lines of. And then they turn on her and she's trapped I in this room at the end. I can't see in the dark. Or I, I can't. I know what you see in the dark. Don't. Don't look in. Something, something I, in the dark. You guys can yeah. tell us what that one's called. I and think the it's little got, girl, um, I think, was the girl who plays young Snow White in Once Upon a Time, I think. She and made it's, some flashback um, characters in Once Upon a Time. Tom Cruise's wife, isn't it? She's a very good actress, the little girl. She's Who's Tom very, Cruise's very wife? She, she's the woman in it. I don't know. You know she's shit. She was in Teaching Mrs. Tingle. What's her name? But I liked that film and you told me it was rubbish. I, I can't remember anyone's name. You guys can scary. tell us. Who the hell is the bird in that? Who's Tom Cruise's wife? What is this all? film? And what's the name Did of the I movie? Did I dream this movie? No, no, up. it does exist. Anyway, some shit. What's your favourite horror movie, guys? Did you like our list? What did we miss off? Are you watching Scream Queens? Let us know your thoughts on that. We like it thus far. We are aware it could go shit very quickly. Yes. But so far, we're enjoying it. Um, I don't agree with the reviews of it, saying that it doesn't know where it sits genre-wise. I think it's perfect, it's camp, it's gory, it's stupid, it's brilliant. I love it. Now can we please get back to drinking my pooey hand water? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Subscribe and all the social media stuff is in the description below. Yes, it certainly is. Bye I'll then. see you tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow. Bye.